Today in Apple Motion, I'm gonna show you how to add your own custom thumbnails for your projects made for Final Cut Pro. There are several different ways you can add a custom thumbnail. It all varies depending on the kind of project you're creating. For example, I'm going to select the Final Cut title and go ahead and open that up. In here, you will see a title background and a type text here layer. Now this title background makes it very, very easy to add your own custom thumbnail. All we need to do is go into our finder and just click and drag whatever JPEG or PNG we want onto the title background and just like that we have added our thumbnail. However, it should be noted that this thumbnail is also going to include any additional layers that are placed above it. So we would see this type text here layer in our Final Cut Pro project. However, maybe you don't have an effect source or a title background in your project and it looks something like this where you've got just your layer and a black background. Well, what you can do is actually set up the exact frame you want to have as your thumbnail for Final Cut Pro. So we could move forward in our project to wherever we want, push Shift M to add a green marker, double click on that marker and change the type from standard over to poster frame. This is going to tell Apple Motion the exact frame you want to have as a thumbnail for your projects that are sent over to Final Cut Pro. But let's say you wanna have a much more customized thumbnail for your projects. Maybe you wanna keep your branding involved with each and every frame. All we need to do is jump out of motion and in Finder, we will locate the actual image that we want to create as our thumbnail. Go ahead and right click on that image and go down to quick actions and select convert image. Now I'm gonna set this over to a PNG format and we can set our image size to whatever we like. I usually like to just do the medium size and from there we can go ahead and select convert to PNG. Now with this PNG created, you can go ahead and copy it or just drag it over and locate the actual plugin that you want to add your thumbnail to. So in here I have my ProZooms plugin. I'm gonna push Command V to paste it and in here you're gonna notice that there is a large.png and a small.png. Go ahead and delete both of those. Then with our new PNG that we just added, we can rename this to be large. Then I'm going to push Command D to duplicate it and rename it to be small. Now these two images don't need to be any particular resolution, but if you wanna keep your file sizes really small, then I highly recommend that you go ahead and convert them over like we just did. So that is how you can add custom thumbnails to your motion projects. If this was helpful, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing. Also, you might be interested in this video where I show how to recreate a really cool Mr. Beast effect using Final Cut. Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.